the, the real issue here is not switching the refrigerants in terms of their technical aspects. It's this right here. It's the A2L part of the refrigerant. That's why we keep talking about transitioning to A2Ls. And that's why the next couple slides I'm going to talk about what that is because a lot of people don't know. Okay. So ASHRAE 34, which is shown right behind me here, is the designation of refrigerants. ASHRAE designates refrigerants in terms of their toxicity and their flammability. Okay. Okay, moving on to the middle part of this slide. This chart is directly from ASHRAE 34. So it classifies refrigerants in terms of toxicity, which is down here, and flammability, which is up here. Lower toxicity A, 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 higher toxicity B, 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 okay? So when you see A, it's low in toxicity, B is high, and no flame propagation is a one, lower flammability is a 2L, flammable is a two, and high flammability is an A3. R410A is an A1 refrigerant. So now we're moving up to an A2L, and we'll talk about why that's a big deal in a minute. 